Welcome to Electron Online. Here's another good example to show you how Bayes' rule works. Example number seven. And again, we're doing some testing for cancer. In this case, we're doing testing for pancreatic cancer. And it turns out that the specificity for this test is 100%, which means that if you do have pancreatic cancer, this test will flag it 100% of the time. On top of that, we're also told that only about 1 in 100,000 people have pancreatic cancer and that 1 in 10,000 test positive who doesn't have cancer. So there's a small possibility that you will test positive if you don't have the cancer. So the, the question then is, what is the probability that you'll have cancer if you test positive? And what is the probability that you don't have cancer if you test positive? And the way we denote that you don't have cancer is by putting a line on top. This means don't have cancer if you test positive. And then those are the equations according to Bayes' rule. Also, we put together a table here. You can see that you test positive or negative if you have cancer. Since there's one in 100,000 people, so there's a total of 100,000 people that has cancer that will test positive, and of course, zero will then test negative. And that will give you a total of one person has cancer, and a total of 99,999 who doesn't have cancer, 10 of those will test positive, and the rest of them will test negative. All right, let's plug in the numbers and see how this works. So first, we're going to calculate the probability that a person has cancer if they test positive. So this is equal to test positive if they have cancer. So what is the probability to test positive if you have cancer? Well, that is equal to 1. There's a 100% probability that you'll test positive if you have cancer. And then we multiply that times the probability of having cancer, which is 1 in 100,000. We divide that by the same quantity right here, which is the probability of testing positive if you have cancer, which is 1, times the probability of having cancer, which is 1 in 100,000, plus the probability that you test positive if you don't have cancer. Well, that's 1 in 10,000 times the probability that you'll have cancer, which is virtually 100%. It's essentially 99,999 over 100,000, and so essentially that is equal to 1. We can just call that 1 close enough. All right, so with a calculator, so let's see here, we'll simply call this here 1. If I can get the top off my pen here, so we're simply going to call this 1. So in the denominator, we have 1 divided by 10,000 plus 1 divided by 100,000 equals. Then we take the inverse of that and we multiply it at times, oh, divided by 100,000, divide by 100,000 equals, and we get 9.09%, so which is about 9.1%. So that means that if you test positive with this test, there's a 9.1% chance that you have pancreatic cancer. Now, what is the probability that you don't have cancer if you test positive? Well, of course, that should be 100 minus that, but let's find out if the numbers come out that way. So this is equal to the probability you'll test positive if you don't have cancer. Well, that would be 1 in 10,000. Those 10 out of 100,000 meet that criteria, and we multiply times the probability that you don't have cancer, which is virtually 1. So we'll just call it 1 instead of what we have over there. Divided by, we'll repeat that, 1 in 10,000 times 1, and we add to that the probability that you'll test positive if you have cancer, which is a probability of 1, times the probability of getting cancer, which is 1 in 100,000. And let's calculate what that is equal to. So first, in the denominator, we have um, 1 divided by 10,000 plus 1 divided by 100,000. Take that to the numerator and multiply it times or divide by 10,000 and we get 90.9%. So 90.9%, which of course is indeed 100 minus this. So the remainder is the probability that you don't have cancer if you test positive. So let's say you go in and you get this test taken and you test positive. 
there's about a 91% chance you don't have cancer and about a 9% chance that you do have cancer. That's a pretty good test. And so at least you'll have to find, do some more testing to make sure you don't start operating on people who don't have cancer who tested positive. But of course, that's for the medical field, not for the mathematical field. And that is how it's done using Bayes' theorem or Bayes' rule.